What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a proper showcase to a Don Dozo and a Tasugiri team. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I just mentioned, I want to give a proper uh, showcase to Don Dozo and Tatsugiri considering I used Don Dozo and Tatsugiri in the past but not really to its fullest potential so since series one is kind of coming to an end I, I might as well give a proper introduction to these Pokemon considering they were probably the strongest in the series one ladder but uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Start off in that top left corner. We have the one and only Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri really isn't that good of a Pokemon, but paired up with Don Dozo and the Commander ability makes Don Dozo really broken. So that's why Tatsugiri is very, very prevalent in the meta. It has Commander as its ability, the Chewy Scarf as item, and the Shrock and Jigger Meteor, Muddy Water, Dragon Pulse, and Icy Wind. Don Dozo is going to be our second Pokemon with Unaware and Leftovers, Wave Crash, Terra Blast, EQ, and Substitute. And like I mentioned, what makes it so strong is having Tasugiri on the field with it because the little fish hops into the big fish's mouth and then gets plus two on every single stat. Defense, special defense, speed, attack, special attack, every single stat goes up plus two, so this Pokemon gets ridiculously strong. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Meowskarada. Meowskarada is a top tier starter with a great move pool and a great move set. It has Overgrow as its ability and the Focus Sash as its item, Flower Trick, Knock Off, U Turn, and Protect. Baxcalibur is going to be a fourth Pokemon, the new pseudo legendary introduced in Gen 9, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. This one has Thermal Exchange and the brand new item Loaded Dice, then it's Rock and Glaive Rush, Icicle Spear, Ice Shard, and Protect for its four moves. Fifth Pokemon is going to be our support slash good special attacker. It is going to be Volcarona with Flame Body and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Overheat, Struggle Bug, Rage Powder, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Garchomp, a great physical sweeper for this team with Rough Skin and Life Orb as its item. Dragon Call, EQ, Stop and Catch, and Protect really cannot go wrong with that moveset. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Tasugiri and Don Dozo team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty strong team with Baxcalibur, Gargleknack, and then he also has Golden Go, Miascarada just like us, Water Tauros, and Mimikyu. So I can definitely see our opponent popping Trick Room. It seems like he can really thrive off of Trick Room, so I definitely want Don Dozo and Tasugiri. I might honestly lead these two. Nah, I can't lead them two because he, he's going to have Miascarada. That seems to be his only counter to Don Dozo. So we have to kind of bring in something to kind of counter that. And my own Miascarada is not too bad itself. So if they're going to pop Trick Room, I could go into Baxcalibur here. I mean, Baxcalibur speed's not too bad. I kind of dig it. 110 for a Trick Room. But who do I think he's going to lead? Possibly Mimikyu alongside with... Well, I could go into Baxcalibur and load it dice and Mimikyu because the first shot would take off Disguise. I'm really like that. I'm going to go Baxcalibur for a lead. And I think I'm going to go Miascarada and then bring in the, the Tatsu combo in the back. The Don Dozo combo. Right? Makes a lot of sense. Sounds good enough, right? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We just have to watch out for Miascarada. Miascarada seems like it's going to be a problem, but if we can get it out the way like early on here, I really feel like we can be thriving. So we're going to lock in this team. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But like I said, I haven't really showcased the Donzo team on my channel yet. And I really want to get that on, on my channel because I want to showcase every single Pokemon, have a thumbnail for every single Pokemon on this channel, just so everybody has content for every single Pokemon on this channel. But Baxcalibur is going to get a lead alongside with... Mimikyu and like I said, I feel like I could just Icicle Spear straight into this and do I Terrasilize in the straight ice? Kind of lean towards it. I kind of like the, the Terrasilization here. So I'm going to end up Terrasilizing and trying to get rid of you and then I could start u turn or I could just knock off the Sync's item if I want though. What do I want my play to be? I think I keep we stay in here and we just knock off item or I could totally just u turn out. But then I would have to u turn into like say Don, Don Dozo or something. So I'm just going to knock off Backscalper's item here. That's going to be a play. And I'm Thrasilizing into that ice. Just so I can try to get rid of this Mimikyu and have him not set up tricking. And on top of that, it can save our Baxcalibur from a Glade Rush. So if Glade Rush comes in here, it's going to do some big damage. But we're going to hope that we can eat it up. We shall see. We shall see what our opponent wants to do here. Knockoff's going to come out here. Bop. Doing some solid damage. And we're going to take off its loaded dice, which is huge. But she's probably doing the same thing we are. Wow, he goes for that. No Trick Room coming out here. No trick room. Is she gonna take me out? Yeah. So we're gonna see a double KO, which uh, I don't mind too much. I mean, I can save my back scalpers for later. And wow, you just got a crit there? <laughs> that did a little too much damage for us. 
So we're both doing the same thing here. I might save my backscabber for later. Not too sure. Nice sickle spear is flying. We should be able to get rid of Mimikyu, no problem, right? Take off this guy's right here, right now. Get it on out of here. And now we can start chipping up some damage. And we do have the loaded dice, which is good. So we can potentially hit a couple more times. We need two more times here. Come on, one more. Backscabber, I love you. I love you. So loaded dice doing us really good. We get rid of Mimikyu. He gets rid of my Miascarada, but it kind of sucks because his backscabber outspeeds mine. And from here, you know what? I might just drop a Draco Meteor. I'm going in Tatsugiri here. I might just rip into a Draco Meteor. And try to get rid of the Max Caliber. And then go from there. And then swap out. Because I don't want to swap just yet. He's going into Gargoyle Knight. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You know what? That might be exactly what we do. Into a nice lovely Icicle Spear into you. Then I want to go for Draco Meteor. Just try to get rid of Max Caliber. But I think... Dragon Pulse should be able to do enough. Let me see your stats, Tasu. Let me see your lovely little stats. 172. That's really good. That's actually a really good stat. Dragon Pulse should be able to KO. I don't think Bax Caliber's speed stat or special defense stat is all that good. Yeah, mine's 107. Yeah, I'm all about just Dragon Pulse and trying to finish off this Bax Caliber and then swapping into Don Dozo. Just so we can get some value here. We're just going to end up Terrasize. That's got to be the Gargle, right? That's got to be the Gargle, right? It is the Gargle. Okay, I don't mind that. I do not mind that. We can go into Poison-type. We get a Poison-type Gargle. Like, usually, a lot of them are Ghosts. This is my first time seeing a Poison, but I don't mind that. Again, Tatsu should go first here, and I think you could just pick up the KO, correct? Awesome. Big-time KO. Big-time KO. Now, if Tatsu survives, we just bring out Don Dozo, and we could be sitting really, really good for this battle. Unless he has Miascarada in the back end. Because Miascarada could be a problem. The crits just hit through me and do me dirty. We get a crit to get us started there. We should be able to land at least four or five of these and chip up some nice damage on this Pokemon. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Keep going. Keep going. One more. Four times, I'll take four shots. One more Icicle Spear. Should be able to pick up the KO. He's going to Sulk here me. That might put me close to KO. No, it does not KO me, but still the Salt is being cured. It's going to start slowly chipping me up. So from here, I feel like we just swap. We swap the Salt here and we go into uh, Dondozo. And we kind of go from there, right? So what Pokemon does he have left? It's this Gargonac, and it's one more, and we're hoping it's not Miascarada, and it is Miascarada. That hurts the soul. Okay, so Miascarada is out here. Ugh, this sucks. I could Ice Shard it. I could, I could Ice Shard it. Which you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ice Shard it. Get off as much damage. I'm going to double down into this Pokemon. I'm going to double down into this thing. He protects. Okay. So right now, we're not even using Dondoza. We are just thriving with our Tatsugiri here. And I think we can actually pick up KO. No, we cannot. It's actually not too bad. I don't mind this turn. He sucker punches me. I go out. I'm forced to go into Dondozo. We should have speed up against it, which could be good. And Dragon Pulse is going to fly here. So we take off Focus Ash, which is ridiculously huge. And yo, Tasu's hitting hard. Tasu's hitting hard for no reason. He's hitting real hard. Real hard. Real hard. And we're going to hope that Dondozo is faster. Is it going to be faster? It's cutting it close. What's my Miascarada's speed? I think it should be faster. 192. Actually, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. He might be able to just rip into me here. I don't like this game one bit. I finally get out the Dondozo. And actually, I wouldn't want to have the Dondozo out here. And the reason I say that is because I have my Tatsu. And my Tatsu can legit just finish off that uh that Miascarada right here. But we're, gonna, we're just going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to deal with it. But I could EQ. Which I think I'm going to do. I want to get rid of the Gargonac. I think EQ is going to be my play. If I can get rid of the Gargonac, it's GG's. Like I said, my Tatsu can come out and just pop a Dragon Pulse and finish off Miascarada, no problem. But my problem here is Miascarada being faster than us, which is definitely a likely situation. And it can potentially just rip into my Dondozo. It gets a crit, so it ignores all my defense uh, boost. So I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. We'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Mascarada protect. I'm fine with that turn. I'm really cool with that turn. I'm really cool with that turn because I now I outspeed. We're hoping EQ can just KO. And EQ just straight up KO this Pokemon. Like I said, I'm plus two on attack. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. Let's get rid of it. It does. Big time turns. We like that turn. I don't mind that turn. I like where we're sitting now. So Dantos are coming in the back end, but really MVP right now is just a Tatsu Giri. I use that Tatsu Giri perfectly. Because Tatsugiri is pretty much just a, uh, it's pretty much just a, uh, like it gets in people's head. That That's more so what it is. Oh, our opponent just cancels. Let's even go for the win. 
We take that all day. What a start for us in match number one. Got that Dantozo, got that Tetsugiri out there, ended up cleaning up the battle and grabbing ourselves a win. But second match coming at you guys, and this is really cool to be going up against. We're going up against a mono poison type team. Dantozo can rip. I might lead Dantozo and just EQ out. It's definitely a possibility, but the problem would be Amoongus. If Amoongus can clear Smogamy, he can do a lot of work that way. So how should I lead this one? How should I play it? Um, Garchomp's actually really solid here. My problem with Garchomp is the EQs and all that. I, I would love the EQ. I could just go in the U. I could protect turn one, but actually pop an EQ and kind of roll out from there. I'm with it all day. I'm with these two as a nice little lead. Maybe bring Don Dozo in the back end, or I can just go into Miascarada and Max Calibur. How should I play this one? How should Jeans play this one? Excalibur's not bad. Miascarada, I really like Miascarada. And the problem is if I bring Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, I can't bring Miascarada. Hmm. But you know what? I am going to bring Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. We're rolling out with these Pokemon. I want to showcase them a little bit more. Let's rock out with it. But yeah, that last battle, like I was mentioning at the end of the first battle, was uh, Tatsugiri's more of just like gets in people's head because you never know if they're just going to swap, dodge the move, or just stay in there. And Tatsugiri's solid all around. I really like the special tech sets. I was just ripping with Dragon Pulse. I was going to swap and Don those, but I was like, nah, yo, Tatsugiri can finish off a lot of these Pokemon on its own. And I went with that with that route. But he's going to go Glamora and Toxapex. Okay, this should just be like a free terrestrialization into Mikyu. I think that has to be my play and just protect. I, thought, I think that's pretty simple play. And it kind of sucks. Like, Mono Poison such a cool team, but it's just like, those teams are ripping with Garchomp. Hey, Garchomp can just, you know, pop BQs and do a lot of damage to these Poison type Pokemon. <laughs> so it seems like a problem. But that, that would be my only complaint about this team. I absolutely love this team. I think it's one of the stronger Dodonzo teams. But my only complaint is there's no EQ synergy with guard time because i always love having like a guardivore with telepathy or like a flying type pokemon i can swap into just to dodge with the eqs but it makes sense considering this thing's not choice or anything he's just ready to rip with uh with his life orb but i'm gonna terrestrialize but i hope that they're not terrestrializing because if they're not terrestrializing i like the damage output that we could potentially get could be really good so we end up terrestrializing in the ground i'm loving it and let's get ripping. No, no terrestrialization? No terrestrialization from their side. I like it. I like it. I, I really like this. I really like this. This this should be double KO. Oh, you have the berry. You do have the ground berry, but still, this should be some nice damage. They are going to set up... Uh, Lamor gets his spikes. The Toxpex should take a nice chunk. Yeah, Toxpex dead. Oh, we, we KO through the berry. We KO through the berry. Oh, my lord. Get it on out of here. Toxic debris does come out there. I'm not worried about it. I think I can sweep. <laughs> That's why I love these two. I was just like, I'm pretty sure I can just like, you know, get after the battle this way. Pop EQs. I outspeed most. Except for probably their Gengar. Which I, I would think they brought. We'll see. But in this case, I could just rage pad our shot, right? Let's see who they bring. Skunk Tank. Alright, Skunk Tank, I see you. And Amoongus Moongus. Who was going EQ? And I'm cool with going with the overheat. I want to sweep. I'm looking for the sweep here. Battle was canceled. One of the quickest battles I had in Scarlet and Violet so far. You guys gotta love it. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And once I saw that Mono Poise team, I was just like, Garchomp can potentially sweep, which is exactly what we did. We popped a nice little EQ, ended both their Pokemon, and the dude was just like, I'm out of here. I quit. I'm not facing jeans anymore. But like I said, hopping into a third and final battle, looking for a perfect record, going up against a Flitzel and Pelipper Rain team with Bronzong for Trick Room, Lovely little belly bolt, love that Pokemon, and then Amoongus and Bax Caliber. How am I playing this one? Hmm, I mean, Rain is definitely like prevalent to him. I gotta go Miascarada for lead. I really like Miascarada. I wanna bring it into the Dantozo combo. And then, last Pokemon I wanna bring is it going to be Bax Caliber potentially for the lead? I mean, I don't mind Bax Caliber. I don't mind it. I really don't. So, you know what? I am gonna go Bax Caliber. Where do I go, Chompy? Chompy's good too. We'd all love a good old Chompy. We all love a good old Chompy, but I think that Pelper or Floydsel would have an ice beam. So I'm not dealing with that. We're going to bring in Don Dozo and Tatsugiri alongside Bax Caliber and Miascarada and look for that lovely perfect record. We've been killing it so far in today's video. Solid first battle with Tatsugiri and the Donzo. 
Second battle, I don't even want to talk about it. Too easy for us. <laughs> we just ripped into it. I was sitting there. I was just like, wait a minute. I think I can just EQ, right? So I just EQ protect it. Double kill through the barrier. I was like, oh, yeah, it's over. And I trash size. I was like, yeah, GG's. Good game. Great game. So not a bad lead for us. Um, Icicle Spirit should be able to get rid of the Moogus, no problem. And Miyashirata should be able to do a big time knock off. And I might double down into you. I really want to double down into you. But the problem is he is going to go into probably a... I could U-turn, which I don't really want to do. He's probably just going to go into a, uh, a Rage Powder here. Yeah. The Rage Powder comes out here. And we're just going to kill the Moogus. And how come... Oh, I'm Grass-type. That's pretty solid. I knocked off its Covert Cloak, which is solid. But he's going to pop a Trick Room. We're going to get rid of the Moongus. Uh, actually, we might not. Hopefully, we do. We need two more hits. Usually, I can hit four times with this thing. Good thing. Loaded Dice, amazing. I love Loaded Dice back to Calibre. I'm loving this Pokemon. The Loaded Dice makes this thing hit so hard. And many times. And this thing gets off the Trick Room. Okay, so Trick Room's out and about. We still have Focus Ash on Miascarada. Then we kind of just go for it. Right, we have Dantozo. We took out Amoongus, which is huge, considering that might have been one of his only ways to get rid of my my Dantozo combo. Belly Bolt's going to fly, and I feel like we just have to start targeting down everything that can defeat my Dantozo. But I kind of do want to just take you out, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to take you out, and do I go for a Glaive Rush here? 120, or do I just start ripping with these? I kind of like the Icicle Spears. I like the Icicle Spears. I could Terrasilize. But I'm gonna save it just in case I need it for my uh for my Dondozo. But he's gonna end up thrasslicing. Okay. Belly bolt terra typing? Let's see what you got, Belly Bolt. Oh, never mind. Bronzong wants to live another turn. Ground type Bronzong. So weird. I don't know what you're doing. What are you what are you doing with that? You just wanna survive another turn? Bulldoze to get a little bit more damage off? Okay. You're gonna proc Belly Bolt's weakness policy, correct? Makes the most sense. And then discharge. Okay, that is really, really dope. I'm a big fan of that. Or you just electromorphous. Yeah, there it is. Oh wow. This 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 is cool. This is really cool, yet really scary at the same time. I'm terrified. I hope I lose this though. This is sick. I love Belly Bolt, dude. Right, I was so confused at first, but this is a really cool co combo. It goes with this move. Okay, we survived. Can we kill this? Can we kill this belly bolt? Can we kill this belly bolt? Get it out of here. Everybody attack. <laughs> Get it. Kill it. Kill this little frog. Kill it right now. And actually, oh my god, belly bolt's gonna be ripping into us. I don't have sucker punch. Oh my god, it's getting charged with more power. Can you hit five times, please? I might need you to hit five times. Five times isn't even gonna kill it. We don't have sucker punch. I do have ice shard. Ice shard's not bad. I might have to ice shard this. I might have thrash slice too. Can we hit it one more time? Good. Hit it one more time. I need you to hit it one more time. Oh, well, that was five. Okay. Wow. Um, I don't know what we do here. I might terrestrialize. I might just terrestrialize. And just ice shot. Just so I can guarantee this KO. That's exactly what I'm doing. I have to guarantee the KO. Because if Belly Bolt survives... It's a huge threat to my Don Dozo. And if I can get rid of just this Belly Bolt, I feel like my Don Dozo can come in the back end and we can pretty much just win this match. Might not even need Don Dozo here. My Pokemon are thriving pretty good. Ice Shark coming out here. This should KO. 40 base power. It's time still. It's like up to 80. No shot. No shot. No shot. We're going to potentially lose because of that. Ellie Bolt lives on. No shot. No shot. Not one shot that would ever happen again. Belly Bolt really lived on one. Okay, Don Dozo. Let's see what you got cooking. Let's see what you got cooking. No shot, Belly Bolt. This thing goes for gravity, so everyone's on the ground. Does that make... Does Gravity put Levitate Pokemon on the ground? Does Gravity... I gotta look that up. Gravity Pokemon. Alright, let's see. Let's read it. Let's read it, because I would love to know. Gravity causes the field to undergo intense gravity. Uh, yeah, I know it does, but does it... 
causes all Pokemon on the field to become grounded. Grounded Pokemon lose immunity to ground type moves due to their flying tape levitate. Okay, so even levitate is not going to work here. This is a free EQ. I can't terrestrialize. This is free EQ. Okay. Let's see how this one plays out. Chris Belly Bolt scaring me. Oh my god, Belly Bolt chill. Belly Bolt chill. Chill me. And of course you land. You land a hypnosis. Well, that's GG's. Unless he misses a thunder and we can wake up next turn, but yeah, uh, yeah not looking good. Not looking good. Wow, two whack situations. We put the belly bolt on one. And secondly, this thing lands his hypnosis. Come on, I never land my hypnosis. That is ridiculous. But yo, at least if I'm going to lose to a team, I at least it's this team right here. Sick combo from her opponent. I love it. Once I saw the ground, I was like, what is going on? Why are you landing so many thunders, man? Landing thunders, landing hypnosis. I call hacks. I'm just playing around. Yo, GG from our opponent. Absolutely love that team. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. And oh, I forgot. Wait, what? My my Tatsu Geary comes out and you put the sleep already? What is going on? <laughs> I hate this game. So you're saying there's a shot here though, because if I can land this muddy water, maybe pick up some KOs. We, we can get cooking with this. I'm already asleep. Get out of here. If you land another thunder with not, without missing, I'm going to be upset. I'm slumped. He's going to set up another trick room. What's up with you landing thunders? There's got to be an ability or something. This thing is ripping with its accuracy right now. Ripping. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG's to our opponents. 2-1 for today's video. What a set of battles for today's video. Went 2-1. Grad results a winning record. And I feel like we showcased this team really, really well. We got the Tatsugiri and Dendanzo out there in a couple of the battles. We had Loaded Dice, Bax Calibur doing work with Icicle Spears. Then we had Miyas Gravata, Full Corona, and Garchomp getting in the battles as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.